Watkins got solid hands as well. Brock Toma and Zion Lentz have been kind of shouldering the load in the run game this season here for the Bears, but Lentz gets the start. That's been an area that's been banged up over the course of the last nine weeks of the season. Lentz the back. Opening play for the Bears. Throw there from Kanai Oliveira, who for Watkins gets wrapped up by Cody Alejo. The senior, who has a brother on this team as well, makes the stop into a gain of one. This defense here is pretty solid. Kanai Oliveira putting it on, the action downfield. And it is incomplete for Cooper Watkins, batting it up in the air. They were fighting along with Jevin Woodson. Watkins hustling down that field, great speed off the line, trying to climb the ladder, but just couldn't put it down, but a pretty decent throw. Not only that, nice protection there. He was not under a lot of pressure, just threw it to his, to a guy who was double covered. I mean, you know, there's no, it doesn't seem like he read that. It just was a pre-designed, predetermined play. He's gonna throw it to Watkins. Third and eight, working high. There's Watkins going up and getting it for a first down. Sky Watkins. <laughs> getting up there. Look at you, look at you. This one down. And they did it close up on you. Wow. Dang. Sophomore class, I and mean, with the pretty good offseason, let's win with the bowling program tonight. Oh, we're gonna fire. This is to Watkins to pull it down. Kevin Watson makes the stop. Watkins, two big catches beyond this drive to the 33 to get 12. I have been impressed with Watkins. Not only his ability to catch the ball in the open field, but he's fearless and he's, he knows he's gonna take a hit. He still hangs on to a football for the first time. You gotta love it. And credit this offensive line is giving quarterbacks time to throw. Get yeah, the ball out quickly for the ball over there. Good for a first. Oh, yeah, it's very good. Wow. What a grab. What a daring play here on fourth down. Oh. Oh. Nice. So far. This is the 14th play of this ball and drop. And there we go. Excellent protection. Gonna go for Watkins. He threw it up. He stayed in the middle. He almost lost Ricardo. And he landed out of bounds. Wow, oh, Watkins. Talk about a kid who's getting his fair share of balls. Oh, just outside the line. Great call by the official right there watching. But I love the aggressiveness of Cooper Watkins having himself a night. That left foot comes down the play is stopped for now. He's just in front of the Molly bench at the 47 yard line. Boy, boy, great job out there with Jevin Woodson. I love the shots that he's taken down the field here. For Kanai Oliveira, Watkins is fighting for it. Again, uh, you're right, Major. I love the aggressiveness. You're, you're winless, you're down 14. Don't go up running up the middle three yards on the cloud of dust. You're going to go for it. Even though Watkins was double covered there, I like it. I like the aggressiveness. Both teams very, very aggressive here on third down. Pretty, pretty look really good uh, executing on that fourth down. Super Watkins. His dad was also teammates with Reggie Bush and Alex Smith in his days over at Helix High School when his father was out there too. So strong football bloodline here for Watkins and company, but the Bears got to get something going here. What would give you a positive sign here for Baldwin early on here in this third quarter that you want to see? Well, you know, the, the offensive line has done a good job pass protecting. I think they got to get the ball to Cooper Watkins, throw the ball around a little bit. Yeah, here for. You got it. 
Yeah, exactly. And for Watkins and company and their quarterback, Calajo Kanai Oliveira. I mean, both of them are sophomores, right? So they're going through the growing pains of their varsity careers. But with time, that chemistry builds. And you start to you know, have that nonverbal communication. And you build that bond. And for Cody Nakamura, what job he's done so far, at least trying to build the culture at all levels, right? Even the youth program. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. Go to the side. There's Watkins. And Watkins tries to lean forward out there. Cooper Watson's going to be great. Cody Leo able to help force him out there with Brady Tiago Nishida. Watkins, he's the only guy that's caught passes here tonight for Kalaheo Kanadi Oliveira. Second down and four. And a handoff here to Brock Toma. Toma gets the team. Sure, we had our struggles, but we found strength through each other and him personally, through his family and friends. You know, when I transferred, I didn't expect to win right away. We're a young team, we're all still learning. Cooper Watkins is living large right now. Watkins will score! Touchdown! <laughs> Another spike, you will love it. Cooper Watkins, 69 yards to the holly, and this is a wonderful job. Look at him. He's going. 108 receiving yards now. And the spike. <laughs> and another penalty. Touchdowns for the season entering tonight. They have two here tonight. Usually they like to have it on the kickoff. And now they don't use personal communication devices. Here in the MIL. And the, the, the result the of the play was a touchdown. Walking with the long spike. Easy play there for the officials. And then more recently, Cooper Watkins. Despite. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. As an opposing coach, it doesn't really bother me, but I, I understand. I understand the, the rule of the law of the middle. Because if you let that go, and it, right. it, it'll, it'll turn into more theatrics, and, and I, I get it. Yeah, I, you know, I understand the celebration here for the bear, the emotion, and the excitement. But always a good bit of advice for life. Act like you've been there before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, look, you're right, though. If, if they were to make an exception soon, you'd have, like, you know, you remember, I don't know, you're probably too young to remember, but there was a guy that played for the Houston Oilers named Billy White Shoes Johnson. Whenever he scored, he'd spike the ball and then he'd do, like, a Ugly lazy dance. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one deflects off of Juan Casilla Lopez and finally picked up it here for ball with it moving forward. But this is just part of the process in learning and growing and getting better here for these bears. Yeah, you know, it, it, a couple of times they looked like they were going to compete and they were moving the ball down the field. I thought they were going to score. The passing game fits and starts, but sometimes look pretty good with Cooper Watkins, but uh, they just, the Bears have, uh, just didn't have it. They just didn't have the uh, <coughs> the, the run game yeah. to sustain any kind of balance on offense. Yeah, for sure. And so moving forward, a couple more games to go, as you mentioned, 